Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak. Welcome to the Eid special of Let's Go Chocolate Cooking Show. And we are your host. I'm Luchi Sugitan, your cacao doctor, chocolatier, and chocolate maker. And I'm Iman Sugitan, your cacao doctor. We created this chocolate cooking show because we want to share with you our knowledge of cacao, of really, truly healthy chocolates. We are your ultimate chocolate lovers. We farm cacao and we love the healthy benefits of cacao and its most famous product, chocolates and chocolate used on cakes and desserts. Last week, we made with our mother her banana chocolate swirl cake, and this time we're sharing with you Luchi's signature double super moist chocolate cake. She's been serving it for many years using other people's chocolates, but this time we're making mm -hmm. it the healthy way using healthy alternatives for sweetener and butter and using real cacao which we harvested fermented and roasted using her own prescribed profile. This is the second recipe which we think you can serve this Eid, whether in your own homes or as gifts. So if you're ready, let's go bake super moist double chocolate cake. The ingredients are 1 and 3 fourths cup all-purpose flour, 1 cup ground cacao 100%. Again, a reminder that cocoa powder is different from ground cacao. It's important to know the traceability where our food comes from. So, we're using single origin premium cacao beans from Agusan del Sur. Remember that with ground cacao, you're sure you still have the cacao butter intact, which means you still get the health benefits of cacao. One half cup coconut sugar, a cup of dates syrup, half tablespoon baking powder, half a cup of olive oil, half tablespoon baking soda, one 185 ml can of evaporated milk, half tablespoon instant coffee powder, half teaspoon salt, two pieces eggs, half tablespoon of vinegar, half tablespoon vanilla, and a cup of hot water. So how do we begin? First, we heat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We've already done that. Then, we line our baking pan with oil and silicone paper. Which we've already done as well. Mix all the ingredients, such as the all-purpose flour, the baking powder, baking soda, and we must sift it three times. By the way, why so, do we need to sift uh, all these dry ingredients we need to sift all these dry ingredients because we want to make sure that we don't have lumps from our dry ingredients plus also we want to incorporate air and then of course we need to put our ground oh, cacao, cacao from agusan del sur our farms and the coconut sugar by the way there's a reason why we always use coconut sugar it's because it scores low in the glycemic index once you've mixed that, Luchi is going to make a well. Okay. On this well, we will combine all the wet ingredients except the hot water and the eggs. So we're going to add the milk. coffee and the salt. So I'm gonna employ the help of um, the mixer. Mixer. So how many minutes should we mix? Um, we mix until all ingredients are well blended. I'm gonna now, add the eggs. Okay, let's add the eggs now. And then we're going to mix it again. Everything else is already here, mm -hmm. so... I've ready for you the hot, hot water. water. I can see that it's becoming so runny. Is that normal? Yeah, it is normal. The batter is supposed to be runny. Mm. So now when we're done with this, we're going to line the baking pan. Which we've already done. Mm -hmm. This is ready. So we are pouring on the already lined baking pan. What we used for lining is olive oil. And of course, remember that we've already preheated our oven at 350 degrees. So this is... Ready to bake. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our super moist double co, double chocolate. Yes. Mm. 
So we're going to wait 30 minutes until our cake is done, right? Yep. For, that's for round or rectangular pans. Mm -hmm. But for muffin pans, it can be just 15 minutes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start um, making our ganache mixture while we, while we are waiting for our cake to cook, mm -hmm. to bake. So we're going to use the mixer. We're going to use the mixer. What else are we going to um, use? We're going to use the mixer to emulsify the melted chocolate. Melted chocolate. Coverture. Mm -hmm. Coverture. How many percent? This is 90%. We're using all-purpose cream. Mm -hmm. You can also use whipped cream. And then we're using cocoa jam in... Um, are also called as caramelized coconut milk. Mm -hmm. And then we've got and cocoa then nibs. We've got cocoa nibs. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the dried rose buds. For garnishing. For garnishing and dried forget-me-nots. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to buy fresh flowers mm -hmm. that are edible mm -hmm. to, to use for the... Um, for the ganache? For, for the ganache. For garnishing. For garnishing. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't find it in the market. Mm -hmm. So... I'm going to use... So this will serve the purpose. Yes. Yeah. All right. So okay. what do we start with? Let's start with the um, all-purpose cream. And then we can go for the chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add the cocoa jam mm -hmm. or the caramelized coconut milk. Okay. Maybe we're going to use about half a cup. Half a cup? Yes. Okay. So just half of this? Yes. Our ganache is a bit runny now, it's right? It's a bit runny right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Just for a few minutes. Just for a few minutes. So it gets a little bit of... Thicker of consistency. consistency. Mm -hmm. And this is ready. I'm just going to put this in the freezer. Mm -hmm. So let's call in Luchi because it's been 30 minutes since the cake has been in the oven. Wow. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. You smell it. And it smells mm. really chocolatey. Yeah. So what's the next step? The next step would be to turn it over... over to turn it over here mm -hmm. and then cut it into half. Okay, so this means this part goes to the bottom. Yes. Okay. I think it's a little bit cold now. It's been 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that it's cold, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put a silicone paper on top of uh -huh. the top part of the cake. Wow. Oh, please hold the paper from the... Uh, And I'm only doing this because I'm quite happy with the top, mm -hmm. meaning it's even. So if it's ugly, we should I, hide I it. Usually, yes, I usually mm -hmm. hide it, but this one is fine. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into half. The reason why I'm cutting this into half is because I would like to put a ganache filling in the middle in the middle of the cake. cake. Okay. So we're going to continue with our ganache by calling Luchi in. It's now ready. Okay. So it came from the fridge because mm -hmm. it became a little bit thin because of the weather. Yes. So we put it in the fridge because... To thicken the consistency and now it's ready for our um, ganache filling for our cake. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fill it now. Mm -hmm. Remember that we split the cake and we're going to put this in the middle. We still have our cacao nibs. Ah, we're going to put it later. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to put the... Um, and just very carefully put it back. Mm -hmm. mm. This looks really delicious and it smells... If you can smell yes. it from here, it smells so delicious. Because we used real cacao. We used real cacao. Mm -hmm. We used coconut sugar. And then this ganache has uh, um, caramelized coconut car milk. Caramel. Mm. And I use a 90% um, chocolate converture. Mm -hmm. So now I'm um, putting the ganache on top. Mm. And then we're going to garnish this with dried roses. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to make it really special. It's eat. Mm -hmm. Any plants or any flowers that you put on your food has to be edible. 
I'm just going to sprinkle cacao nibs. Cacao nibs. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. Mm -hmm. Just a bit yeah. to give it um, some texture, some crunchy texture. Mm -hmm. By the way, Luchi is the one who decided how these cacao nibs are roasted. Yes. If it's going to be a slow medium roast or a long slow roast, you know what? I'm gonna add. So there you go, our super moist double chocolate cake. We hope you enjoyed the cakes we've baked here today. Hope you stay with us for the next healthy chocolatey episodes and we hope you and your family's prayers are accepted this Ramadan and that you have a wonderful Eid Mubarak! Mubarak!